Dear brothers and sisters, right now we have just listened chapter 17 of John. The important thing about, one of the most important things about this chapter is that is Jesus praying in the Last Supper, talking to his Father. It's one of the few moments when we see the Trinity in action directly, as they are in action from all eternity, before the world begun. They are having a deep conversation. The Son with the Father in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of glory. That's why Jesus is saying, glorify me, like fill me with the Spirit and transform your ready with the Spirit, like take me to the glory that we have in common, which is the glory of the Holy Spirit. And they're not only, Jesus is not only speaking about the glory he wants to share already in eternity, because his humanity was struggling in that moment, but they are talking about us. That's also very beautiful. We heard this gospel the last Sunday, because we are in the world and Jesus is interceding for us before his Father. Now I want to mention, to say something about St. Philip Neri. Today we're celebrating the feast of this apostle. Apostle of Rome. He was born in 1515, in the middle of the Renaissance, in the middle of the, like just before the beginning of all the Protestant Reformation, where the church and the clerical was very into the world, was very fall into worldliness, the whole church. A lot of corruption, a lot of, of scandals, a lot of misery and shadows. He was born in Florence, but then he was he went to Rome, and he was working for 10 years as a tutor, like trying to evangelize by his own. But it was fruitless. He was kind of frustrated with all this immorality going out or, or around the place. So he looked within Rome for these seeds of holiness. So his way was he was going every evening to the catacombs, especially the catacomb of St. Sebastian, because he wanted to be in touch with the essence, with the fire of Christianity, the only thing that can renew the world, that could renew Rome. So he spent many hours there praying and sometimes sleeping in the catacombs. Once he was praying and asking to, so his heart can grow more in love. And it, it, he, had, it, he suffered a beautiful experience. It's called like the Pentecost of Philip Neri. 1544 is the, the year when he suddenly praying to God saw a ball of fire coming from heaven towards him and got through his mouth and settled in his heart. To the point that he was saying, enough, Lord, enough, I cannot stand anymore. After he died, they opened, like, they analyzed his body and they saw two ribs were broken after that moment. Not only that, but after that moment, when people prayed with him or whenever people was with him talking about God, they could hear the pounding of his heart it was so intense. And when he was celebrating the Eucharist, everything was vibrating. The objects on the altar were vibrating. And also, when people were close to him, they felt a, a very strong warmth. Even in winter, when he was walking in Rome, his cassock was open here because it was too warm. Then he founded the oratory, because that experience was when he was a lay person. After six years after that, his personal Pentecost is that he founded the oratory. He was very known because of his joy, but at the same time, his discipline and his love for the beauty of the faith. So, what can we take out of this? What do you want to ask to the Holy Spirit? What gifts do you want to ask to the Holy Spirit? So you can be renewed in Pentecost that is coming right now. But you have to ask boldly to the person of the Holy Spirit, because it's a person. And ask for those gifts you need. You need. Maybe fear of God, maybe piety, maybe joy. Think about it and ask boldly.